Good morning, Georgia Rose here from GeorgiaRoseConnection.com. So today I want to talk about competition and prosperity and using those two aspects to create the life we want and create our best life. When I was younger, I was often told that I was a very competitive person. And for some reason, I thought that was a really negative um, label. And I resisted that. And I said, I'm not competitive. Come on, you know. But I was in a sales field, as most of you know, my earthbound life is uh, real estate. And I thought competition was a negative. I used to think of it as kind of a dirty word because to me, people who were competitive were backbiting and backstabbing and oftentimes judged um, because when we get into a competition, we judge ourselves and we have to judge the other person to see what we need to do as far as bettering. So to me, competition somewhere along the lines of my life got to be a really negative thing and I resisted it. And once I started to really in reinvent myself um, these last seven years, I realized competition could be a good thing, but in an internal way. I used to be externally competitive. I'd have sales goals and you know achievements in my life that I wanted to make, most of them linked with prosperity of some kind. And I was competitive oftentimes in a ruthless way. Um, I had a driver in my life, in my um, psyche, that really made me um, you know, sometimes uh, go to extremes to be competitive. And I was bred that way in a career that um, I was very successful in. So when I started to reinvent myself, I started to turn competition into an internal. And I use competition in a really healthy way now. I'm still a very razor sharp, focused, driven person. Not in an obsessive or OCD way anymore, but in a really healthy way. And what I do now is I'm competitive with my personal best. Um, and I'm competitive with myself. And whether I am in my earth pound job where I still do real estate and sales or whether I'm in service, um, you know, trying to help someone in their life or performing a healing or a spiritual communication or just with a friend who needs me or in a situation where I am called into um, doing something a little challenging. When I leave that situation or I'm driving home or I'm walking away, I always ask myself, did you do your personal best? Was that the best you could do there? And I notice that if it is, I feel really good and satisfied and authentic. And if it's not, and I feel like I could have done just a scooch better, or maybe I should have said something in a different way, or I know my personal best wasn't really met, I feel a little depressed and a little down on myself. So my competitive streak has become one where whatever my task is in my life, I try and achieve my personal best. And when I haven't achieved my personal best, I redo it or I fix it the next time. I don't dwell on it. I don't have a regret. So today I'm going to challenge you all to look at the aspects of your life that aren't doing so good. We all have situations that we're trying to um, come out of. We've all had that feeling of hopelessness, of just being overburdened. I still have some situations in my life that are like that. But if you can truly bring your personal best to that situation, you're going to find it much easier to slowly, slowly come out of it and achieve what you really want to. And that's where prosperity comes in. Because once you switch that um, standard of personal best into truly being authentic to what your standard is, and it's going to be different for everybody, that's when you truly feel prosperous in your life. It has nothing to do with externals. It has nothing to do with what you drive and what you wear and where you live, although it's always nice to have nice things. And don't apologize for that either if you've achieved a certain level of success. But mostly it's nice to feel prosperous within ourselves and know that we've touched things and made them better and we've done our personal best to do so. So live up to your personal best and you're going to see what effect that has in your life. And it could be everything from the way you raise your children to the way you run your errands to the career that you've chosen in your life. But set your goals and achieve that personal best and measure yourself against only one thing. And that's you. You and your relationship with your source that created you, whatever you believe that to be, is the most ultimate relationship and the only thing that you should measure yourself against. Not other people, not what other people have, not what other people do, not other people's relationships, but truly your authentic self and compete with your personal best. So that's my advice to today. I hope that it helps you on your path to get creating your best life. It certainly helps me. Sometimes I forget and I kind of don't do so good in my life, and then I think, wait a minute, I'm feeling this way because I didn't do my best. And I go back and I find my personal best for those situations. 
So good luck to you. I'm always here to lend a hand with spiritual healing or spirit communication. Or if you just need some life advice, I don't think I'm an expert, but I do know some stuff along the way that I've learned. Had quite a life. So uh, you can always reach me at georgiaroseconnection.com. And I hope you have a great day. Make it your personal best.